Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Augusta Civic Center for semifinal action. The Nokomis Warriors taking on the Coney Rams tonight. My name is Brian Woodbury. Alongside me is Jason Gould. Jason, here we go. We are into the semifinals. Only three teams now remaining, as we saw in the first game. We saw Brewer handle Scow Higgin quite easily by a score of 58 to 30. So we know one half of the Eastern Main, or I should say Northern Main final. Uh, we're going to see who that other team is tonight between Nokomis and Coney. Yeah, definitely an interesting matchup tonight between uh, the Nokomis Warriors and the Coney Rams. One thing for sure about Coney, one thing you can take to the bank is Coney is going to press. We know they're going to press. They always press, whether it's the uh, boys program, the girls program, Coney presses. It's just a matter of how intense uh, that press is going to be and uh, how well Nokomis handles that press. So that's going to be a major storyline going forward in the game tonight. Yeah, you know, these two teams are not strangers. They have met twice uh, on the year already. And if you look at those scores, uh, in uh, the first game that they played this year, Nokomis was at Coney and they handled them 80-53. to And then when they played them at Nokomis, they handled them again 78-50. However, that's not the total story of the game. Coney played uh, with them in different spurts throughout the game. So, yeah, those the score isn't really indicative of how the game really uh, played out because Coney was very much in that in both games. Uh, and as in one of the games, they had a lead, uh, you know, into the uh, going into the second quarter, into the, going to the half, and uh, it was it was certainly didn't indicate the final score didn't indicate how close the game really was. So it's an exciting time. Again, this is uh, semi-final action, and uh, certainly for this boys uh, program, JG, as they continue on really what has uh, been a historic run, the first Nokomis boys team to be a number one seed coming into a tournament. And again, they took care of business on Saturday against Mesolonski. And again, they find themselves against here tonight against the Coney Rams. So, and of course, when you talk about Nokomis, we all know where it starts. It starts with Cooper Flag and his brother, Ace Flag. So much to talk about about this team. However, in that quarterfinal game against Mesolonski, uh, Cooper didn't even take a shot in the first period, but it was another player, uh, Mr. White, that uh, made an impact in that game. Absolutely. Madden White came ready to play the other night, uh, and he really carried the offense for Nokomis. Uh, and, and this is what's so great about this Nokomis team, and anybody that has watched them throughout the year knows and understands that uh, obviously uh, Cooper flag gets the the bulk of the attention but that's okay because there's a whole lot of other guys on this team that can carry the load and uh, he's just as happy to facilitate the, those players uh, as he is to get his own uh, as long as it translates to a win and uh, it certainly did against Meslonski the other night. So we've got just a little over a minute to go before we get this one underway. Again, Nokomis coming in here, the number one seed in Class A North. Uh, and uh, Coney coming in here, the number four seed with that record of 12 and 6. Of course, Nokomis regular season record of 17 and 1. So it should be an exciting evening. It is a capacity crowd here, Jason, on hand at the Augusta Civic Center. Oh, huge atmosphere here tonight. Uh, when we pulled into the, to the park, parking area tonight i mean we were we were a few hours uh before game time and uh place was packed uh just cars everywhere people parking on the sides uh it was really a festive and it's been a festive atmosphere and uh it still is i mean you look up from the floor all the way to the top of the building uh seats are are hard to come by yeah it is a full house and certainly looking forward to getting this one underway here at the Augusta. The Civic Center. Tournament basketball, there was nothing like it, Jason. You know, I was saying in the quarterfinal game and talking to Josh about this, but you know, you have different high school sports, of course, but the MPA knows that this is uh, really a big event for them every year. This tournament, of course, games going, B, C, and D going on in Bangor at the Cross Center. You've got games here in Augusta at the Augusta Civic Center. Of course, games going on down in Portland. So we're getting ready now to announce players and also get your starting lineup for tonight's matchup. Good evening basketball fans and welcome to the Augusta Civic Center for the Northern Main Class A Boys semifinal game between the Coney Rams, the visitors in the dark uniforms, and the Nakomis Warriors, the home team in the light uniforms. Our officials are Mr. Ray, Mr. Grappel, and Mr. Parkers. The scorer is David Burns, the timer is Bruce Chase, and on the score clock, Eddie Bear. Before announcing the starters, we'll 
introduce each team member. For the Cody Rams, number double zero, Sam Flannery. Number four, Alex Fournier. This one underway, the student section, JG, right to our right. In fact, our immediate right. Yeah, they're, we're, they're right on top of us. Yeah, and it is a full student section for Nokomis. Which is great. It's great to see. So we're getting set to tip this one off. Nokomis, Coney. Boy, that was a non-contested yep, tip right yep. there. You just gave that one away. And Nokomis with its... First look here on offense, a great pass inside to Flag. Misses the easy one underneath, fighting underneath for the rebound, and away with it comes Coney. So a good look there early on, taking it strong to the basket, kicked out as Coney works it around the perimeter. Of course, Nokomis in that man-to-man -man defense. You don't see much different, JG, when Earl Anderson puts a team on the floor. It's that hard... Yeah. Hardcore knows hard knows man to man defense. No, you're gonna play defense if you're gonna play for Coach Anderson. For sure. Thrown away there by Coney. That was good defensive pressure put on the ball there by Cooper Flag. And Coney turns it over and they set themselves in up in that press. We this, talk, this talked is about gonna that. be interesting. Yeah. This, is, this is gonna be the interesting part of this ball game. See how Nicolmus handles this press. There's one way to handle it. They look to double off it until it crosses half court. There are sides he thought about it, but pulls it out, gets it over to Grant out top. 
to White, who had the big game in the quarterfinals. Over to Flag. Here is Grant. Thought about the jump shot, but kicks it back out to White. Here is Ace Flag with it. Spins. Strong move. Nice move. Ace nice move. Flag with his first bucket, and Nokomis is on the board. Got a shoulder two. on that defender, and he just went for the basket. Good move by Ace Flag. Out top with it is Coney. In the corner is Napolitano. Looks to go baseline. Flag shuts him down there. Back out front. Almost stolen away. Then it is kicked away. Controlled by Nokomis. And Coney starts their first two possessions with turnovers. And Nokomis brings the ball back up across half court. Cooper flag lost control there. Goes down. Scrap on the floor. And that'll be Coney basketball, I believe, off the jump ball. Yeah, I don't know if that was... I, I certainly don't think that that was caused by... You know, being bothered by the press, I think it was just a matter of just uh, just lost the ball going in. Yeah, well, there's a strong move there by Sargent. He had a good look, but no good. And this is White once again with it. Up ahead to sides, being guarded closely there by Dewan. And then they switch back, and now Briggs, who has checked in the game. Yeah, that's good strong yeah. move there. Just backs him down. And then over from the backside comes... Briggs with the block. And then they're on the ball, and then they're going to call a kick, and it'll be Nakomis ball out of bounds. So that was, that was good weak side uh, defense there by Luke Briggs to create all this. Uh, certainly, and Nakomis had the mismatch with Ace Flag down low, and then Briggs came to help and got the block. Yeah, he did. He came from that backside sides. Thought about it, but he'll give it up to White who. Dangerous skip pass there over to Grant. Off the give and go. No, right back inside to Ace Fly again. He is doubled underneath. Sides had it. He's, boy, I tell you, Coney is scrappy. They sure are. Grant with a look. That's going to be short. Good save there by White. Sides with an up and under. No good. Followed by Cooper Flag, and there he's got his first two of the evening. Nice follow by Cooper Flag. Nice take, really, by Connor Sides. Just didn't fall, but... Outside shot is Briggs, and Coney's on the board with three. Good luck. Briggs had the shot, and he took it. Didn't hesitate. And you know we talk about this all the time, J.G., but Nokomis will be a tough out. Coney's going to have to shoot the ball extremely well. And, boy, just a flat-out steal there yeah. on. Just took it away from Grant. There's that press. Coney will try to kind of lure you in. You'll see a lot of substitutions as we see more check in. And I'll tell you, they will go at it. Coach Mains will, you know, he will just, he's just going to go 32 minutes of fast, up-tempo basketball. Yeah. Aggressive style of play for sure. It's the staple of a Coney team. Four to three here, first quarter. A couple of buckets by Nokomis and a three-pointer by Coney. Drives around. Going to be a little bit of a hand check, I think, out front. Sides got him. I think that's going to be before the shot, I would think. Well, I was, that's what I thought. I was, uh, was going to say, is that on the floor? I would think it would be on the floor, but they're lining up for foul shots. Yeah, hmm, that's interesting. I thought it was as he made his move to the basket, but... That's the furthest point for us, uh, JG, down as we're in the corner here of the Augusta Civic Center. So yeah, maybe, maybe we just couldn't see it. Yeah, we're know? a ways away. Yeah, uh, from the, from that exact from that particular play. So Sergeant misses the first one and another substitution into the game. But I'll tell you, it'll be tough keeping up with that this evening. Sergeant with another one, and this ball game is tied. And that gets Coney into their pressure defense. Grant inbounds to flag. Here's the double. Splits the double and up ahead to Madden White. So, yeah, Nakoma's just not taking care of the basketball no, right now. That just was too lackadaisical by Madden White. And now they turn their back totally here. Nakoma's looking a little bit out of sorts. Wide open look. Just off, no good, but a wide open look by Stred. 
And here comes Nokomis. Splitting between defenders and then getting tripped. Down goes Flag. Good aggressive move. Headed for the basket. Yeah, I think Nokomis needs to just kind of take a deep breath here and run their offense. Yeah. Settle in. Well, you can see Coach Maines is going to, he's going to empty the bench tonight. He's And why not? He's throwing it all out there. Well, at this point, as we all know, survive in advance. It's, I, not, it's not the best of three. Yeah, and I think you're also going to see a lot of this tonight in that, uh, you know, I don't think they're going to be afraid to, to foul. I right. really don't. I think he's going to, like I said, he's going to use everybody on the bench. And, uh, you know, I don't think fouls are going to be a, I mean, you, obviously you worry about them at some point. You just can't keep. But do we have somebody, might be some blood on the floor here. Maybe a, you have to go. Out for one possession, I think, here, if that's the case. We'll see what's going on. I, I see. Braden Barbo is uh, checking into the game. Well, Dewan was pointing to Cooper Flagg, saying, hey, it's not me. But now Cooper Flagg has to go out for... We'll have to see what's happening. We've yeah. got, got a floor burn there. The trainer very quickly tapes it up, and Dewan's going to be right back in. Hunter, Hunter Flagg entered the game for Nokomis. Sides will inbound. It's going to be. Whoop, oh, got, yeah, he got ready to. Yeah. A little indecisive on the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Which way that was going to go? Yeah, that's Coney didn't, didn't care for that. No. So we'll try it again. Connor Sides will inbound. Cooper flag back in the game. Yeah, he got a quick bandage on that uh, knee there. I think maybe a floor burn and. Nice little stop. Running one hand aside, battling for the rebound. Can't get it. Off the miss by Cooper Flag. Oh, good shot there. Up and in. Sergeant, Parker Sergeant with the aggressive take. Nicomas down two here. First quarter action. Nice strong move there, but just can't get it to go. That was White. Kicks out to ace flag, spins, and he is fouled. Luke Briggs didn't like the call, but I don't know how you couldn't make that one. How they couldn't make that call. Yeah, he came down across his yeah, both arms. Yeah, arms and hands in pretty good shape there. And that'll send ace flag to the foul line. Ace flag on the line for the The question will be, JG, is whether Coney can keep this up for 32 minutes. Yeah. This is an area where Nokomis maybe at times can use a little work with the games that I've seen is that foul shot. And I'm telling you, in games like this, Jason, oh, they're important. important. Very important. It could come down to it for sure. Got to hit these. Well, Ace has another one here. Whoop. Well, that would be a violation if it doesn't go. Yeah. He's got that little hitch where he comes up with one and he holds it with one hand. And if you're not careful. Right. The anticipation, you're anticipating the quick release, and right. when it doesn't happen, you're in the lane. So Ace is going to have another chance here. He was short on all three of those, so. That keeps the score knotted six to four, and we're going to get a foul on Ace Flag. So Nicomas coming out a little bit flat. Uh, Coney beating them to a lot of loose balls, beating them, to, you know, beating them to uh, some rebounds, uh, you know, stripping, getting in there, getting some steals. Coney's definitely playing the tempo they want to play. No question about that. Yeah, they just right now, McComas better better kind of wake up here and play some defense because uh, that's just too easy. Yeah, it's eight four. Here comes Nokomis up against the press and thrown away on another turnover. So Nokomis down four here in the first quarter. The substitutions continue to come in here for Coney. Out 
front with it. That's Barbeau now to Briggs, who now has it over to number 14 there. Boy, they just move it so quickly. Yeah, they do. JG, they really do. There's a tough shot. That one's yeah, not going to have a chance. That's a block there by Cooper Flag, and he's out of there with it. Looking to take all the way. Kicks it out. There's Madden White. Just, yeah, they are just really. Nothing falling for Nakomas right now. No, not at all. Quick ball movement. Long three. That is no good, but. Oh, great pass and a great look inside. And that is Doohan with a bucket. That's two in a row for Doohan. Same, yeah. same type of play both times. And it is Coney with a six-point lead. So Nakomas is definitely out of sorts here, and that press is doing just what it's designed to do, Jason. That's to get you kind of out of rhythm. And Coach Anderson He's seen enough. with a good timeout to kind of gather the troops here a little bit as they find themselves down six. First quarter. If you're Coney, you got to love this. Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for <laughs> any more right now if you're Coney. 10-4 lead, you know, most of the way through your first quarter. You know, it's kind of interesting uh, that <laughs> it's mirroring a little bit uh, the first time these te two teams met in Augusta and also, you know, at the Comas, Coney hung around for for quite a while, and they had a 15-point lead at one time down at Coney. So, yeah, I mean, this is this uh, is nothing new in, the, in that sense. I mean, Coney is this is the style they play. When you're a pressing team, uh, you can you can get out to leads like this, like you've talked about earlier. Uh, it's just whether you can sustain it for the entire uh, ball game. So Coney with that six-point lead. Has the ball with a minute 21 to go here. First period action. It is the semifinals here at the Augusta Civic Center. And looks like they're going to hold for one, JG. And it's smart. <laughs> it's smart basketball yeah. right now. No sense to rush anything here. No, don't, don't make any, any rash decisions. An ill-advised shot isn't what you're looking for. Down under a minute now, and Coney continues to work the ball around the perimeter, taking time off the clock, looking for that last shot. What you have to be careful here is getting a little too aggressive and then give up something wide open on a backdoor cut because they are spreading the floor right now. They continue to hold. Down under 30 seconds to, now, uh, to go. Sergeant, he hands off to Dewin. The Coma student section getting upset with this, <laughs> this yeah. uh, stall. Well, the Coma just has to be smart, you know. You don't really need to be too crazy way out there, and that's just, that's, yeah. No. Oh, they're going to crawl yeah. travel. I, I was hoping they weren't going to bail him out on that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you did everything that you should do if you were Coney on that one, but that, that travel, that could have been, man, and one, that, if that had gone the other way. Right. Oh, yeah, Nicomas yeah, they, immediately they, turns it over. They're really, Nicomas just really, really out of sorts and slow on their rotation, swatted out of there, and a charge with .6 seconds to go. Well, it's good, you know, it comes at a good time for Nicomas because now you can get to the end of the quarter and just kind of catch your breath a little bit and say, all right, right, let's uh, let's play our game, let's play our style. But hats off to Coney. They came out and have done exactly what they have wanted to do, exactly what they want to do, the style they want to play. Right, right. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, Nicomas just playing a little bit flat-footed and uh, you know I, I think they do obviously realize that they've got to come out here that nobody just you know punches the wind ticket and say you know you're on to the next game that you got to come out and you got to play and you got to earn it and uh, they just seem like they need a little bit of a wake-up call and hopefully coach Anderson has got the right words yeah get some kind of back on track you know Coney is forcing the pace right now they're also forcing the Comas into some some turnovers um, kind of ugly at times out there but we'll see if the Comas can settle itself down here because Coney's going to keep coming at them. And as I said before, can they uh, keep the type of stamina that it takes 
to go 32 minutes of this full court pressure and kind of helter skelter basketball. Yeah, so Comas just needs to be patient, work their offense. It'll come. It'll come to him. So here we go, underway with second quarter action. Cooper flag, good strong take there, up and in. Probably could have gone to the line as well on that. Mm. So we'll see if Tacoma settles down on the defensive end here and locks things up and makes it a little difficult. They're really putting the pressure on. Oh, oh. boy. Wow. That's, that was about as late a whistle as I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, well. Yeah, that was a three-pointer, too, so yeah. he's going to have three free throws. So that was interesting. Yeah, not sure about that. Sergeant hits the first one. Well, one... <laughs> well, boy, you could hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're they're not happy. Yeah, no. they weren't happy with that. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I mean, I don't care. If you're going to call the call, make the call. Make the call. Yeah. You know. It was a bit late. There's no doubt about that. So, And I think I think the problem with that is if it comes that late, is it then part of the shot at all? Right. You know, I right. mean. And if it's that late, was it that egregious of, a, of an offense? Yeah. I don't even know. Oh, okay. A charge down here on the other end. That's Madden White. Oh. Well. So Nokomis finds itself down seven here, and they are in a battle here at the Augusta Civic Center with the Coney Rams. Cody now with it, working the ball around the perimeter. Sargent into the corner. A little spin move there and a shot up. No good, but not a bad look there by no. Dewan. He'll take that shot every time. There we yeah, go. Somebody knocked finally the top off there. Oh, what great anticipation there by Flag. And they're going to call a... A a block, foul, yeah. Blocking foul. Well, let's see if Townsend can't give him a little spark. They yeah. needed something. That was a good. Uh, I like it. He took it. He, you know, just in the game, and he didn't hesitate. Shot well, was there, and he took it. I keep saying this, JG, and it probably sounds like a broken record, but you know, it's going to take someone from Nokomis to uh, to step up. Other than you know, whether it be other than Cooper or Ace, or but it's going to take somebody there else. There's, Cooper with the easy two inside, but oftentimes it takes that a role player to to really create that spark. Oh, great block down on the other end by Cooper Flag. And here comes Ace Flag across the middle and calls a carry. Wow, bringing it all out tonight. Yeah, we've seen everything. I'm sorry. I'm hearing some of the. It is comical. Yeah, it's it's, it's comical. Some of the comments coming out of the <laughs> St student section. Yeah, that, good. that was good. I like it. I like it. I gotta say, I like I it. I can't repeat it, but I, it, I was, like it. it was a bit funny. Oh, we got flag off his feet. White. Well, pretty, pretty good look at a three there, but no good. And Nicomas looking to push now. There's a. How about I, I was just gonna, gonna say. say? Oh my oh, Lord! Good Lord! What that. is that? Oh, that's not. That's Coach Anderson's gonna get. A, yeah. He's gonna get teed up, and I don't blame him. This is terrible. That was not good. That was awful. Yeah, that was not good there at all. He just got hip checked out of bounds, and they call they call it on him. What they call backcourt? I don't know what it was. I honestly don't even know what he called. I don't think he, he know, does. He got fouled for sure. Wow. So. Well. And I don't know how many that was. That's uh, was that Cooper's? Did they call a foul on? I don't even know what they called. I, I guess they, they, I think they called backcourt. Yeah, it was a, a strange thing. Anyway, so I mean, he got hip checked into the backcourt. Yeah, 
Well, nonetheless, on we go here, and it's doing with it. Wraparound pass outside. Long three. Back iron, no good. And here comes Nicomas. Inside, cross over to Flag. Yeah, that's there just too easy there for Cooper Flag. That's a timeout, and it's tied up 13 to 13. Let's see if that gets this Warrior team riled up. Well, I think that that's there. You know, if McComas can get the ball across half court and just move, ease into their offense, uh, Cooper's there. That, that, that's there all night long for, for Cooper flag and for ace flag, really. It's there all night. Well, again, it's important that Nokomis maintains their composure. You know, uh, listen, you're in the tournament. Uh, some of these games can turn into a dogfight. We said this coming down, JG, that Coney, this is what they want to do to you. They want to lure you in to a, a scrappy, messy, high turnovers. I don't think they care how many times they turn right. over. They're just hoping that you turn it over as many times right. and, and that they come out on top, you know. So we'll see. And you've uh, seen it. I mean, Coach Maines, he's going to empty that. He's, he's just, it's just rotation, rotation, rotation. Five guys in, three guys in. <laughs> you know, oh, he's, he's been uh, at least 10 deep on the bench tonight already. Good backdoor cut. Out front now. Here's Sergeant with it. Tries to go around behind the back there. But, oh, that was a, I thought. Uh-oh. A bit of, boy, Cooper Flag went down he awkwardly did. He down did. there. He did, yeah. he did. Yeah, he went down really awkward, JG, on that leg. And I'll tell you, even from here, I did not like the looks of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's having trouble putting pressure on it right now. I don't know if it's his ankle. But in the meantime, Coney's bringing the ball back up. Trying to, looks like he's, yeah, he's having trouble yeah, putting his weight laboring. on that right ankle. This is White with it. A little surprise, maybe not a sub coming in. Good move there by White, but he just cannot get it to drop. Get it to fall. Just an awkward, I, I thought it, hope it's not the knee, but it was a real, he went down and kind of bent backwards a little bit, but he's still having trouble putting weight on it. Yeah. Sergeant now with it. Wide open again out there for that three. And this time he does hit. That's the shot that Nokomis is giving up. And it's 16 to 13. Here's Cooper with it. Yeah, you can tell he's struggling because he would take that strong. Sure. No good there. Not much falling for the Warriors right now. No, and we'll see how Nokomis responds here because that's a... Cooper's trying to... He's motioning to the bench for a timeout, and he's not yeah. getting it. Yeah, I'm surprised that they just don't give him a chance to... To get at least let, you know, Kreider get a look at that. There's another three, and, you know, he can't close out. And that turnover. And a oh. foul. Whoops. Not sure what happened here. A lot going on here, JG. I mean, a lot. In the meantime, Coney has climbed back out to a six-point lead. I don't know what what that was, what the call there was. I'm not sure either. So here is Cooper Flag with it, nursing what appears to be an ankle injury. Good strong move by White, left for sides. Boy, I'm not sure why White just didn't take uh -oh. that shot in there. Oh, good rebound by Ace, Ace Flag. Yeah. We'll see if Ace starts to turn it up a little bit. One of the things I noticed uh, that Nokomis is giving up, they're giving up that three. They're kind of uh, giving up some dribble drives, and when the help comes and they collapse, Coney just kicking it out. Yeah. They've been true with the three, especially uh, Briggs. Oh, that just right around Townsend. That was no contest there. Good heavens. Sergeant just right around. Parker Sargent and Luke Briggs for Coney are having pretty nice halves right now. Dangerous pass by Madden White. Don't need a foul here. 
Things just not flowing for the Warriors. Yeah, see a lot of a lot of just reaching and not moving and and I'll tell you, it's been all Coney in this first half, JG. That's for sure. Coney could stretch this out to a nine-point lead. No good. And here comes the Warriors with it. Sides. Thought about driving. Kicks it out to White. Lobbed inside. The flag. No good there. Gets his own rebound. Up and in. Good look inside by Nicolmus. And flag stayed with it. Got the bucket. Well, I tell you, don't be surprised if Coney pulls it out again here for the last minute and a half. Yeah. Looks like that might be exactly what they're going to do. Well, you got to, you know, I don't think, I don't really don't think that Coney has trailed in this game. I think it was tied at one point, but I'm not sure what they have trailed. If it was, it was real, real early, like 4 nothing, something like that. But Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Oh. And there is the turnover. So that sometimes is why it's hard to hold on for a minute and a half. But you, you got to hand it to Coney and Coach Maines. They've come in with a game plan, and, boy, he's using everybody sure that he is. can. Fresh legs all the time. I think he just asked everybody to give 110%. Here is flag all the way. Can't get it to go. Dangerous, Dangerous pass there, yeah. And that's going to be the sixth team foul, I believe, on Coney. Yep. That, that foul was on Briggs. More substitutions for Coney. Oh, he's been just steady. It has been steady. Grant now with it. Sides. Hands out to Townsend now with 30 seconds to go. A lot of red jerseys around. Nice, nice force to flag, but that was a uh, mad and white. Yeah, we need that from Mr. White for sure. I think this is where Nokomis, well, in this situation, it's fine because they're kind of backing out anyway, but. Sometimes 40 feet away. I don't think you need to be right up. Oh, crossover. Good move there. Sergeant can't get it to go. But he disallowed him to follow the oh, shot. What is that? you got to put a body on him. Oh. you got to know where he is. So Nokomis getting beat in the fundamentals right now and kind of every facet. And Coney going to take a six-point lead, JG. Yeah. If you're Coney, boy, you're on top of the world right now. Yeah, they, you uh, sure are. They've played the half of basketball that they needed to play. You just, you know, you were feeling good. At Nicole, if you're Nicomas, you had got it down to four, and you said, okay, we've, we've held them here, and then you give up that last little, you know, yeah. gimme, and that uh, just takes the wind out of your sails. Well, let's see what happens here as we'll be back with you for second half action from the Augusta Civic Center. Back into the Augusta Civic Center here. We are in semifinal action. The Coney Rams and the Nokomis Warriors where Coney has a six-point lead here at halftime. JG, you've got a few uh, scoring uh, stats there for us. Yeah, for the Coney Rams, I've got Luke Briggs with nine points on three three-pointers. Uh, Cam Doohan with four points. Uh, Parker Sargent with ten points. Uh, and I've got on the Nokomis end of things, Dawson Townsend with three points, Ace Flag with four points, Cooper Flag with ten, and Madden White with two. And that gets us to the 25 to 19 halftime score. Before we go too much further, we want to take a minute to thank our sponsors here at Nokomis Warrior Broadcasting. That would be Gilman Plumbing and Heating, Hometown Health Center, Hartley's, Nita Cakes, the Sebastian Cook Valley Credit Union, 
Bowman's Construction, Bears One Stop, Maxim Fitness, D.A. Gould and Grandsons, Casa Cattle Ranch, and A.E. Robinson. Thank you once again for being sponsors. Nokomis Warrior Broadcasting. So, Jason, well, here we go. You know, uh, as we say in tournament time, anything can happen. And right now, Coney has kind of playing their style of basketball, doing what they need to do, and they're up on the number one seed, Nokomis Warriors here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, this this really kind of reminds me a little bit of the of the game, the quarterfinal matchup. Coney did this exact same thing to Camden Hills. They forced Camden Hills to play their style, their tempo, uh, and and Camden was in the game for a while. But when Coney decided it was time to go, they went. Uh, now Nokomis uh, has got to just. I think they just got to settle down, play their game, and I think things will come to them. But right now, Coney, if, if you're the Coney Rams, you could not be happier about how that first half went. Absolutely. Well, we've seen it before this year. This Warrior team can certainly put points on the board in a hurry. Uh, certainly they have been out of sync a little bit. They've made some mental mistakes. They've turned the ball over in situations. So let's see if they come up with a cleaner half. And interesting to see what that conversation might have been like at halftime with Coach Anderson. But we'll see if they come up a little bit more focused, a little more fired up, and get yeah. back in this one. Well, I say get back in. It's only a six-point lead. Yeah. but Certainly certainly not a, uh, an insurmountable deficit, but uh, definitely I think Nokomis would uh, much rather see themselves going on to the – flipping that around a little bit and going the other way. Well, you know, it is tournament time, and, and – you don't want to see anybody get tight or tighten up a little bit. They just need to kind of come out and maybe free things up a little bit. And see if they can't turn this thing around in the second half. Also interesting, uh, J.G., and we should note in that first half, it was Cooper Flag that kind of injured an ankle there, and but it seems to be okay. He's back out here for the start of the third quarter. Yep. Doesn't seem to be any worse for wear. Of course, one of the best trainers around. Absolutely. And Bob Kreider, so he can work his magic on it. So here we go. Second half action. Thomas in that man-to-man. -man. Now Coney's looking to be very patient here. Yeah, how aggressive does Coney take it in this second half, being up six? Yeah, I'll tell you what. It'll be interesting because I don't think they're going to look to push the tempo at this point with, with the lead. And you can see already, kind of wonder if they'll go... Would they dare go full full bore stall here? <laughs> I don't think it would be a wise move, but you never know. They they don't have to score again at this point. Right, right. So you can see Nokomis extending that pressure a little bit more. Oh, good pump fake there. Oh, and then a oh travel. Oh, wow. all right. Yep. Thought at first uh, it's going to be a reach foul, but the travel came before that. We'll take it. Well, you know, if you're going to play that kind of slow down basketball, you better have the personnel to do it because yep. that is a long time to slow things down. Sure is. Here is Cooper Flag with it. Up ahead to Ace Flag. Spins. Kicks back to White. Quick ball movement. There are sides with a wide open look. Three. No good. Weak side rebound. Away to there Grant. It is. He's got himself in the scoring column. That's been a while for Mr. Grant, yep. so let's see if that opens some things up for him. Good to see that drop for him. Now, ace flag down on the floor. Yeah, he got turned around a little bit there. Coney, another pump fake. Boy, Nakoma's really leaving its feet yeah. a lot here tonight. There's a three. No good. Fight for the rebound. It's going to be off from Cooper Flag and be Coney basketball. Yeah, good uh, good battle down low between uh, between uh, Cooper Flag and uh, well, I believe it. Was, I can't tell who it was because he had already gone to the bench. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> so again, massive substitution for Coney. You better. There's a three, deep three. Yeah, that was. Oh, and then hacked from behind. Wow. <laughs> and I wondered for a Jeez, moment. He had, to, he had to hit the floor before the whistle, before he'd blow the whistle. Wow, that was. Uh... The contact didn't matter. It was when he hit the floor is when the whistle blows. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I'm telling you. Certainly a little delayed there, wasn't it, JJ? Wow. Getting my, getting me, getting you, getting yeah, me worked that's, up. That's getting, getting me worked, worked up. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, here we go. Cooper Flag with the ball. Nakomis down three. 
White with it. A lot of red jerseys again around Cooper Flag. Grant's got the hot hand. No good there. Nice got rebound with Madden White. Just cannot go. Oh, Cooper Flag inside, and then he'll put it down with authority there off the rebound. And, boy, I'll tell you, Coach Mains yeah. will get a timeout He's very not going to waste any time. Well, this will be a test again for the Comas of their character and their grit here as they are clawing their way back down one. If Nokomis takes a lead, I wonder, I wonder how that will uh, determine Coney's play going forward. You know what I mean? How that momentum will swing, how, how, how different you, uh, you play the, your defense, your press, how intense you get with it, the substitutions, the rate of substitutions. Well, you know, one thing we know for sure is, is in this now with a one-point lead i don't think coach mains is going to pull him out and run any of that four corner stuff that much uh, yeah. i wouldn't think but again i we were talking jg on the ride down and when you've got nothing to lose you're you can you're dangerous absolutely just ripped out of there on the steal by ace flag up ahead to madden white and travel it was it was the right call yeah that's uh got ahead of himself Boy, Nokomis has had some awful turnovers yeah. tonight. Squandered in, some opportunities. Yeah, they really have. So, But this is, again, where you have to really dig down deep when you're not playing your best basketball and grind out a win. Boy, just right around. and Just a good, strong move. Yeah. Just went right around. No, uh, no real resistance. And, boy, just when Nokomis starts to creep, Back in, and that another turnover. Not what you want to see. Now, I wonder if there was a kick there. Well, I wanted for a moment, but I thought from and again, it's hard from our vantage point to tell. I thought it was a kick ball. Yeah, that's what Coach Anderson is asking. But evidently, it wasn't. So here comes Coney. Barbeau with it. Takes it around the left side. And that was off a of foot, it looked like a little bit. Run down by Dewan. Dewan working against Townsend. Great pass there, but boy, nice. that's Very just nice. great recovery. Great block there by Cooper Flag. Beaten on the play, but when you're six seven, <laughs> you have a you luxury can, you can, make, can get you can up and make a block. That, yeah. no, work your offense if you're in a Comas. Don't rush anything. Don't turn the ball over. Long pass there, wide open. Bingo, another one by Grant. And he's starting to feel it just like that. It's a tie ball, tie game. ball game. Dig your heels then if you're Nicole Muslim. Play some solid defense. Create offense from your defense. Certainly one way to do it. Here's a three contested, but answered right back. Hopkins with that one. So. Well, again, as we talk, Coney is, they have certainly come to play. Good pass underneath. It sides. No good. Missed an easy one underneath. Rebound. Cooper Flag hangs. Can't get it to go. And that'll send Cooper Flag to the line for a pair. That was a nice take by Connor Sides. It just didn't fall. Yeah, he was a high percentage shot for sure. So Cooper Flag goes to the line. And he's got the first one. Two more substitutions into the game for Coney. Look like Dennett coming into the game and also and Hopkins going out, the guy yeah. that just hit the three. So Cooper Flag hits a pair there, and the Comas finds itself down one. In the corner. And now out front. Good little crossover dribble. Boy, great steal, great hands by Connor Sides. Very that nice. was all Connor Sides. Let's see if we got a little give and go here. Up yeah. and in. Just like that. By Ace Flag. Almost with a one point lead. I think that might be the first lead of the game. I'm not sure, but 
I could be wrong. And we're going to get a timeout on the floor by Maines as Nokomis up one here in the third period with three minutes to go. Well, you got to wonder, did Nokomis, did they weather the storm? And is it, is it headed the other way? I mean, it's early to tell you, you only got a one-point lead. I understand, but uh, for a while there, you, you kind of question. Well, you certainly like, you know, what you've seen out of Nokomis. And, you know, they're, they're fighting. They're hanging in there. This has not been uh, their best two-and-a-half quarters of basketball uh, for sure. But, again, if you look back, uh, some teams just can give you fits, J.G. Yeah. And as I said in our opening, if you look at the final score of the two times they played this year and you look at it on paper, you might go into this and think, why, you know, my word, Nokomis has blown them out twice. You know, 80-53 to 53 in one game, 78-50. to 50. And here we have two and a half quarters in with three minutes to go in the third quarter. It's 31-30. So, right. But in those two games, again, Coney played with Nokomis through stretches of time and there's just something about this kind of brand of basketball that that, that yeah. Coney plays that just gives Nokomis fits. Yeah, it's a tough matchup. Coney's very quick and if I really looking at this tonight, I mean they're just a step quicker than Nokomis for the most part overall. And they're hitting their out shot their outside shots. They're they're you know when they take threes, they're making them. Yeah, certainly when they've needed that big shot. And if you're going to beat Nokomis, that's what you're going to have to do. Off no good there. Away with oh, the rebound. Oh, they missed Cooper Flag. Yeah. Cooper Flag was, he was uh, headed for, he was headed he off was to headed, the races. Yeah. Yeah. Grant thought about it. Oh, great pass inside. He's getting rode the whole way. Yeah, good call underneath there as they were riding Cooper Flag underneath. Now this, if you're Nokomis, you want to exploit your strengths right here. and Yeah. Get something easy under the basket. Off the inbound. White. Now Cooper flag. Cross court. Townsend thought about it. Good kick out to Grant. Wide open. Boy, one more pass. There it is. That's good. Madden that's, White. That's a huge three for Big Madden three. White. And I've been saying it, JG, and I will say it again. Somebody else on the Cobas needs to step up in these situations because they're going to sag and drop on, on oh. flag in and out. Now here's Cooper Flag with it up ahead to Grant. The Comas needing to continue to get those high percentage shots with good ball movement. Top of the key here is Cooper Flag. He draws a couple of people there. Yeah. Yeah, just some tough turnovers tonight, yeah. JG. Just mm -hmm. in, in tough situations. So that was a that was a missed opportunity for Nokomis to really stretch this thing. It's interesting with this Nokomis club and all the talent that they have, it yeah, they really don't have a pure point guard, what I would call a pure point guard that can handle, you know, the basketball. They have a number of people that can handle the ball. Right. But not what I would call a pure point guard. Sometimes that can hurt you a little bit in these situations. Yeah. So is this, is Coney, again, will Coney hold for the last? I, listen, uh, if I'm Nokomis, I would let him. I would not be guarding 40 feet from the basket. I, I yeah, again. Yeah. Don't give up anything cheap. Nothing right. easy. Oh, great block again. And then yeah. kind of shoved off yeah. the ball there. That's all right. That, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> don't, don't, let the, don't let that bother you, Brian. Why are you worried about that? <laughs> oh. I, think that I think you have to hit the floor with a certain amount of velocity in order to get the call. Well, yeah, I mean, that was, uh, I, you know, I don't know, J.G., I, I don't always trust my eyes, but I felt well, that that met the eye test, I thought. I mean, that, yeah. Good well, here thing, we go. Good thing he doesn't work for the DMV. Nobody <laughs> get their license. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily bad by Coach Maines here either. I mean, you want to... No. It's, best case scenario, you right. hit a three, you're down one sure. going into the fourth. I mean... Just don't give up anything easy. I, I keep saying that, but yeah, that, you, that's the thing for Nokomis. Don't give up anything easy. Yeah, you know, contest the... Contest the shots, but watch the back door cut. You know, I mean, I... Uh, 
Yeah, see, that's that's the tough part right there. He called a five-second. Yep. So you got to be aware of that count. I don't think Coach Maines liked that call either. No. He's, he seems a little upset. That was, you know. Was that a makeup call for the for the for the power for the, the power forearm. slam into the floor for the forearm? Shit. I just called an offensive <laughs> foul. Yeah, well, you know he he just called an offensive yeah. foul. Yeah, that was interesting to say the least. Um, Boy, was that I, now was that a makeup for the makeup for the makeup? <laughs> I um. From my view, I mean, I couldn't. I, I don't know if he got his arm extended or not. He, oh. His his uh, his boy, back boy. was to us, but I just hate calls like that. There's no there's no it, need of it. Keep tough, your it's a tough one in this uh, juncture of the game, and especially to give up the bucket right there. So I just think you keep the whistle in your mouth at that point, unless it's blatant. You know, I mean, and again, I it was hard for me to see. I know there's one particular official that Coach Anderson is having uh, a lot of issue with tonight, oh, absolutely. And, and that was the. Uh, the gentleman, but honestly, I'll, I'll you know, I again, I could not, I didn't, I couldn't tell from here because Cooper Flag had his back to to what I was looking at. So yeah, I can only think he called him. Obviously, getting his arm out extended, but nonetheless, the game moves on. The Comus is up to going into the fourth quarter, 34-32. We got a ball game, JG. We do, we do. Well, from where we were at halftime, you'll have to, you'll definitely take that quarter by Nicomus and. Yeah, we so, go, yeah. go from we'll, being down six to up two. Yeah, we'll take that. And again, this is gut check time for the Warriors. And uh, to be honest, I kind of like a good battle like this. I think it's, you know, it's good for a team. You know, and if they get through this one, maybe yeah. get it out of your system. Yeah, it'll show that they can dig deep. And, and you know, that's the true character of a, of a good team is how you, you know, how you face adversity. And they've had plenty of adversity here tonight. And again, you know, Nokomis is the number one seed. They're going to get their best effort, uh, or you're going to get the other team's best effort. So here we go, Nokomis with possession as they open up the fourth quarter. And here is Grant now with it as Nokomis gets into its half-court set. Kicked into the corner there. White pull-up jumper. Is short there. Not a bad look. And here comes Coney with it. And dragging that pivot wood, foot was Briggs. He doesn't think he did. Well, I mean, if we've learned anything tonight, the, the, the official is going to blow the Listen, whistle. Listen, he, he's on it. He's going to blow the whistle. Yeah, you're not going to... Be any hand checking or anything like that, boy, it just oh. has not been good for Nokomis tonight. They've just so many squandered opportunities. Well, you know, you got to keep your head up in this situation, and you know, get it back on defense. You, you've got to. You have no choice. So Coney looking to get oh sides in there, almost able to get the steal. Kicks it out into the baseline there. Oh, there's yeah, the, I got yeah. that one up a little high there. That was doing. Yeah, you have this game has a feel of that. <laughs> you feel like the lid is going to come off it at some point, but then it doesn't. Well, basketball is a game of runs, and really, no team, neither one of these teams has really gotten on a true run. Nicomas had that third quarter bit of a run there where they. We're able to come out of there with a two-point lead after being down six, but you get the feeling, JG, that the next run by either of these teams may be what seals it. Yeah. I can tell you one thing. If Coney gets out, you know, five, three, nice three, five, go. six points, they're going to pull it out. Oh. Just a little tentative there. Oh, nice good block, block by sides. sides. Absolutely. Up ahead to White. He's going to look to take and then just loses it inexplicably out of his hands again. Oh, boy. You have to maybe check, put some 
Get some of that sticky some powder stick or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, JG. Yeah, I agree. You're probably familiar with that stick them from the absolutely. Raiders day, Lester Hayes. A, being a Raider, yeah. absolutely. You, you know all about though. I love it. <laughs> love it. Cheating is encouraged for <laughs> the in the Raiders organization. Absolutely. Baseline move. He shut down there. Should be a good trap here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Very yeah. good. That's a nice. Possession will be two. Oh, this cannot be. What is this official calling from? Okay, I was a little nervous when. What is going on here? Give him a timeout. Ti a timeout before the jump ball. Oh, he must have called. Yeah, he must have saw he was in trouble and he called the timeout. So uh, that's a good. Uh, that's a good play there by Maines. Good call by Maines. Avoids the turnover. Yeah. No, good heads up. Good heads up call. Yeah, you just get this feel, JG. This is, <laughs> it's got one of those, you know, I talked about this team, this Coney team bothers, bothered me. I, you know, I said that on our, on our discussion down, talking about the game that, you know, for whatever reason, the way they had played, you know, I happened to do the Coney game. I watched the, the uh, the video of the game at Coney, and then when they played at home, I brought did the broadcast on the game where Coney was up at our place, and that had just a strange feel. Then all of a sudden, you know, Nakoma's put its foot on the gas, and but this Coney team, they just have this weird kind of the way they play, the way. Yeah, I mean, and again, any any time a team, if you, if you press and you're a good pressing team, it's going to keep you in a lot of games, yeah, and it's going to. You're gonna get teams that you're gonna get them out of sorts, and you're gonna. It's gonna. And, you know, and the thing with the press is, it really hasn't been like this killer press per se. It's just been more about controlling the tempo. It's right. been, and really, that's what a good press will do. You yeah. know, I've said before, it's not always about the turnover. It's about can you get a team out of its tempo? Here comes White again with it, and he lost it again. Is it tipped out? Yeah, I yeah, guess they're it calling was. It. I mean, yeah. I was waiting for the whistle to blow, but it's saying the coma, so I'm... Yeah, okay. Well, the Coney player must have got his hand hand on it again. Um, are we tangled up, JJ? Tangled up. Yeah, yeah, these cords are... Things are, things are, getting, <laughs> things are getting intense <laughs> yeah, we're getting, up there. <laughs> we're tangling ourselves up in the cords. Cooper Flag, the running one-hander, though, gets his own rebound, though, and then lays it in. <laughs> and Coney now looks to push a little bit. As Nokomis has stretched it out to four. And now here they come the other way. He's got White on the wing. Leaves it for him. And then Cooper Heard Flag. It. It's all Cooper Flag right now. Oh, and that's a... Yeah, 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 definitely. I had to be careful. Thank I, you. Thank I, I you. Gonna, I, didn't Thank wanna, you. I didn't want to say it too quickly. Well, the referee directly in front of it wasn't going to call anything, apparently. But the guy, the trailer, he's the one who made the call, thankfully. Thankfully. There's something about this building. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels that way? It's Oh, boy, JG. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm getting flashbacks to man. 2004. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And not good ones. Not good. Okay. 38-32 <laughs> with five minutes to go. Is this fourth quarter kind of creeping along? That's a good leave inside to side. Nice. And that's a good. big bucket it at sure a big is. time. Sure is. Get a stop right here if you're in a Columbus. Like that, right there. Yeah, well, that's a good... I think we caught a break there. Oh, boy, we're having trouble. Go to it. Yeah, I think we, we caught a little bit of a break there because uh, Cooper was waiting to get the block, and he just quite did not get there. Basically, just a missed layup by yeah. Coney, and then a good timeout, I think. Yeah. Good Settle. timeout. Catch your breath. Get your wits about you. So really, Nakoma is beginning to kind of, and I, I, we talked about this, JG, about can can you keep up this type of thing for 32 minutes? And I think you know that's the tough part with it, with this brand of basketball from Coney. And you know I, I can't I can't necessarily say they're getting worn down, but you know it's just really Cooper Flag now asserting himself on yeah. the glass. Yeah, and he's I mean those opportunities are there, and he's gonna he's gonna capitalize. And at the end of the day, Coney doesn't have anybody for him. Right. Uh, so, I mean, you've got uh, 
it's just one of those situations where you're finally things are starting to finally flow. They've been there all night. They just haven't, you know, the bucket, the, the lid has been on the bucket and, uh, and untimely turnovers. A lot of bad turnovers. Just things, and now they're finally starting to flow. A lot of bad turnovers. Yeah, they they've had uh, a few of those tonight. Right now, I've uh, Cooper Flag unofficially. I have him at 18 points. Yeah, he is certainly. Again, thrust himself into this game, and you see what he has the ability to do. And if you're Nicolmus now, you don't need to be in a hurry. Right, right. You just got to work your offense. That's going to be the fifth team foul for Coney, and I have a feeling that before it's all over, Nicolmus yeah. will be at the foul line trying to seal this one from the line. Only one team foul in this half uh, for Nicolmus, yeah. J.G. Pretty good. We'll take it. That was the third foul, by the way, on Dewan. Kind of a key player here. Yeah, great oh, pass. Nice. That's Nakoma's basketball right there. They collapsed and surrounded Cooper Flag. He just handed it off, and there's a double dribble. And now you see... The tightness is coming for Coney now. Yeah, and you see you know, Nakoma's a little more confidence building here, feeling that the momentum is shifting as they are up 10. Here we are, you know, halfway through the fourth quarter. And again, this club is a, is a team, as we've said, can, can put a few points on the board in a hurry. We'll see how they handle things now with a 10-point lead. And Coney is just running. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think your assessment a, few, yeah. a minute ago is going to come to fruition. Well, you're running a lot of people in and out. And I think that, that Coach Maines is going to use up some fouls here and I think he's going to make him win it from the line. I, you know, I got to hand it to Coney and I got to hand it to Coach Mays. He is really they, they've thrown everything oh, that sure. they can and I know that he has gone at nine probably ten. I'm looking down the bench looking for some numbers that have been in the game. Yeah. Nice around the back by Cooper Fle hangs in the air and then gets fouled. Good to see that it would appear uh, that there are no ill effects from the, from the ankle, I would assume ankle in the first half. Yeah. No, that is, that's very good news. There was a collective gasp. Well, <laughs> good boy. Yeah, well, I can tell you, I'm pretty confident when I know that Kreider is over there. Yeah. Bob Kreider is there. We're in good shape. Longtime trainer of the Comus Warriors. Bob Kreider was interesting fun fact. He was the uh, gym, the gym te phys ed teacher at St. Albans Elementary School when I was there. Wow. Yeah. That is an interesting fun fact. Absolutely. That's what I bring to the table here. At well, the we need somebody broadcast. to bring something, JG, because we haven't much, haven't had much time for fun facts tonight. No, tonight <laughs> has been a, has been been a, a ball game. <laughs> Doing with the miss there, and here comes Nicomas with it as. It's an 11 point lead. Oh, nice pass by Sides. Oh. Boy, oh boy, just couldn't get it to go underneath. That was White. And poor Madden White came off a 23 point effort yeah, on just in the quarterfinal. Fall. He has certainly struggled this evening, but again, sometimes it happens in this game. You just got to shake these type of nights off. A hand check. Hmm. Well, we have a little break in the action. I, I have to wish my yes. mother my mother a happy birthday today. Yes. Happy birthday, Mom. Tell her, what's her name? What's her, I know it's uh, Mom, but. Yeah, Diane Gould. Diane Gould. Yeah, she is one of the proprietors of D.A. Gould and Grandson Excavation. Who is a sponsor here proud, on proud, Nokomis. Proud, proud sponsor, sponsor of Nokomis Warrior Broadcasting. And a so. great mother. Of course she is. A nice steal I mean. by Connor's sides. That was a great steal, JG, but I, I don't know if it was worthy of you piping in on your own mother's birthday. She, you know, would, understand. she, she would. Okay. She understands. <laughs> she understands. She is where I get my sports fandom from. All right. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, great mother. Well, here we go. A little over two minutes under. Oh, there's a. Boom. Oh, the top of There it off. is. There was the that's, hammer of Thor. That's the explanation point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh that was a three. Only answers. And that cuts it to ten here. 
which is really all you can ask when you're in that two-minute realm. We've got a foul out front. That's going to send, I believe, Madden White to the line as that is 17 fouls. There's a mass exodus of people from the Augusta Civic Center right now. Actually, I'm a little surprised, quite honestly. Me I mean, too. it's a 10-point lead with right. 2 minutes and 32 seconds to right. go. I've seen stranger things happen. Absolutely. We've, we've called games yes, where stranger we have. things have happened. Right in this building. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's not talk about yeah, that, Yeah, let's though. keep that oh, quiet. Good Lord. Quiet. Back to the action here. Boy. Oh, missed free throw. Oh, steal by ace flag and a wise move to kick it out. Sides almost said, listen, yeah. if you're going to give me the lane. Gonna, I'll take it. So, kicked out. Sides thought about it. And decides to take, and he nice. does all the way. Good take by Connor Sides. And I'll tell you, he's he's had a good second half. He sure has. He's not lighting it up in the scoring column, but when no, he but takes that shot, it had been high percentage, and he's hit it. So. He's tough. He's a tough ball player. Here comes Cooper Flag. Yeah, that's going to get fouled from behind. That might be the fifth foul for Dewan. No, maybe not. I think it is. Yeah. 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 I think he's yeah, he's coming out. So the junior Cam Dewan has fouled out of this ball game for Coney. Dewan had a nice game. Nine point guy. I got him a nine points. He did. He had a good solid game. I just find it interesting that this uh, this game has looked so similar and stretches like it did in the first two regular season yeah. meetings with Coney. I mean, so it's it's just it's just something about the style Coney plays. And, and well, I think it exposes a little bit at times Nokomis' weakness. I mean, they again, it's it's sometimes in that ball handling area they. They get a little sketchy with the turnovers at times. But there's an area that they don't get sketchy, and that is on Reed. the glass. Yeah. An ace flag with a great putback. And just like that, I think I mentioned a while ago that Nokomis can put points up in a hurry. Yeah. Exhibit A. Yeah, 50-35, to 35 and it's a 15-point lead. They were down six at half. Yep. And since then, they have slowly chipped away, continue to work, kept their heads up, overcome adversity. You know, and the, and the funny thing of it, too, is, I mean, we've still we've had a lot of good looks that just didn't go. Yeah. You know, to, and to be up by, to be up by 15, uh, we'll, we'll certainly take it. But, I mean, you know, you feel, again, as we talked about, a kid, a kid like Madden White had a great game uh, the other night. And tonight, he's, I mean, he's got to the basket. He's got the shots, the looks he's wanted. They just haven't, just fallen. haven't fallen, right? And uh, you, as we said, hey, get it out of your system, get it out of the way now, and uh, be ready to go for the rest of the way. Well, you know, and as I said, JG, if in fact they do hold on here with a minute 52 to go and up 15, and it does look like they will, you know, I said it a while ago, but you, these are the games you've got to work through. This is will not go down as, you know, a great executed game plan. I'm sure Coach Anderson will realize that. There are some things that they did. They turned it over way too many times, and they didn't turn it over necessarily even under pressure at right. times. I mean, right. they just, balls that just went out of bounds or yeah. just getting the ball stripped. But boy, they have really turned it around. Now they're running. Yeah, Connor, good, good move. Connor Sides pull, just pulls it out. Eat a little clock here. Well, I've said it. I like Connor Sides. I like his game. I like what he brings to this team. And it doesn't always show up in the box score. But I'll tell you, that kid just, he just has a nose yep. for the ball. He hustles. He gets after it. He's there to take a charge when you need it. He's there to, you know, waiting for that maybe extra pass and at the right place at the right time. Not afraid to get down and, and play good hard-nosed defense. And, and I like what I saw out of Alex Grant tonight yep. as well. Alex Grant. Hit a couple big threes at yep. big time, so good for him. He, the lid was certainly on the basket in the tournament thus far, but he had a couple big threes. Yeah, that was good to see. You know, give him, you know, boost his confidence. To you know, hey, if you have that open shot, hey, take it. You know, and they will continue to need and, to make those shots. And like, they were big shots. They were at moments in the game where Nicolas was looking for a big shot. A couple more missed free throws. Hope they. I think Brandon Barbeau just came out of the game, the senior, and Hardwin seniors are 
realizing that yeah. this is it. But boy, I'll tell you what, a lot of credit to Coney. Sure, absolutely. A lot of credit to Coney. They got it out tonight. They they came ready to play. Yeah, they were. They and were, they had a game plan. Yeah, they certainly did and did everything that you could do. But in the end, the Comish hit the shots that they needed to hit. Well, one of those tough plays. Connor was going for the ball. Oh, yeah. They slap, you know, they, they slapped hands there. They're good. They're good. Townsend's going to come into the game for ace flag. Solid game for ace flag. Hunter yeah. flag is going to come in for his brother, Cooper. Very nice. Yeah, good game for Cooper. I mean, I don't know about you, JG, but I don't know how we can't go with him for our Hartley's player of the game. Because Yeah, definitely 22 points for Cooper, uh, for Cooper flag. And they came at the right time. Certainly, uh, he began to assert himself on the glass, overcame the, the ankle injury there. Yeah, got, it was a nice, you know, gut check moment for Cooper Flagg. And the Death Star will roll on, it looks like, into what will be their first regional championship, JG, since 1978. Yeah, big, big night here for, uh, for Nokomis basketball, Nokomis boys basketball. Uh, just a, a big night, you know, to get to that point. Uh, this program has, you know, at times struggled over the it's over the years. It's taken its lumps. Uh, so to have a time to be, it's time to celebrate just that fact that you're going to go to the Eastern Maine Regional Championship. Well, for a while there, I'm not going to lie, I didn't want to come away from another semifinal <laughs> game with a gut punch. Oh. Uh, we've had a few over we the have. years. There's going to be a foul there as we've. Into the game now for Nokomis. You've got Jacob Noyes in the game. Also, Hunter Flagg in the game. Hunter's e going to get a couple right Yeah, here. Ethan Cody. Cody Cretion. Yeah. And also, Grady Hartsgrove. Good to see uh, Coach Anderson going to the bench, getting these guys some time. Hunter Flagg's going to get in the scoring column. Very nice. But your Hartley's player of the game will be Cooper Flagg. 22 points. Leading this club again into its first regional championship since 1978. That'll be taking place Friday evening here at the Augusta Civic Center against Brewer. And there it is. That wraps this one up. It wasn't pretty, JG, but it is a W. And the Nokomis Warriors are going to a regional championship game. How about that? We'll take it. We but like that. Again, Cooper Flag finishes with 22 unofficially. We'll get a few more here before we wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, for Nokomis, Alex Grant with six. Dawson Townsend with three. Ace Flag with 10. Connor Sides with four. Hunter Flag with one. Cooper Flag with 22. Madden White with five. And on the Coney side of things, Luke Briggs with nine. Uh, Cam Doohan with nine, Brady Hopkins with three, Parker Sargent with 12. So that's the, uh, that wraps up your scoring for So they have teams. it. Well, we'll be back on Friday evening for the regional championship. Your final score here from the Augusta Civic Center is the Nokomis Warriors 51 and the Coney Rams 35.